Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. Today, I went to a thrift store where my sister lives. Well, she doesn't live in the thrift store, in the city where she lives. Um, it, it doesn't even open until tomorrow, but I saw the sign said open and there were people there and they said I could come on in. And it was a wonderful surprise because it is called The Fix Thrift. And it is a nonprofit. All the proceeds go to help a, a men's shelter or a men's home for recovering alcoholics, people with drug addictions and what have you, men. And then they're getting ready to open up a women's home for the same purposes. So it's just an amazing uh, ministry. And this thrift store is in part to help fund, along with donations, um, this thrift store so that made me extra excited and I probably um I wish that I could have gotten more they had so much cool stuff but um anyway I want to show you what I got first off look at all these pins so I spent maybe uh Sixty, fifty-five to sixty dollars at this place, um, and again, some of that was because it's a good cause. But I got some of the most beautiful brooches. Some of these are vintage, some are not. To use on my journals. Look at these little birds. Oh, is that not adorable? And I love her. She's cute. She's not vintage, I don't think. Lots of these little angel earrings. I think I got several pair of those. Two pair at least, three pair. Yep, three pair of those. Look at this pin. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm just so excited that God blessed me and them because they were very excited I was their very first customer. Isn't that pretty? I think this is vintage. Isn't that pretty? I love all of these. I haven't looked at them closely because I literally just walked in the door. Um, isn't that gorgeous? I love her. Um, this leaf. This little, this is vintage. Little bow. Look at this little flower, like a little lily. This was a pendant, I think. Isn't that gorgeous? A little guitar. Very cool, boho-ish little pendant. Christmas for the Christmas journal I'm about to do. Merry Christmas. Uh, I think that's vintage. Look at this crown, I love the crown. Um, I love this one too, the telephone, isn't that adorable? And last but not least, a little daisy with a little smiley face. So those are all the brooches that I got. Isn't that amazing? I probably should put them this way so I know to stay in camera. I got this set of Christmas cards, 1964 and 1952 Coca-Cola series, Santa Clauses, playing cards with the tin. And they have not been opened. So super excited about that for the Chris for my Christmas journals. Or I say journals, journal. And I can decorate the tin if I decide to break them open and use them uh, for a little mini journal. Isn't that cool? I may do like a mini Christmas journal and put it in here. Wouldn't that be cute? 
Then I got this book, Rumford Complete Cookbook. This is more than, um, it's vintage for sure. Let me see, the copyright. Look at these old pages. Benjamin Thompson, Count Rumford. 1944, definitely vintage. The first copyright was 1908, and the last was 1944. It has definitions of terms used in cookery. Uh, then there's weights and measures, as they were then. I don't know that things have changed. Soups, all kinds of cool recipes. And then in this book, there are a few pictures, isn't that neat? So for my cookbook journal I'm working on, I will probably include some of these goodies. And there are some other things in here, let me see. Yeah, there's a picture with some cre creamed shrimps and peas with Rumford biscuits, mm-mm. And then on this side, look at here, Pyrex, 10 inch flavor saver pie plate. <laughs> and it's because it has a cherry strawberry pie for a recipe. And I don't know, you know what year that was. And then free recipe, pot roast meatloaf. I may have to try that. And macaroni and cheese supreme, hot fudge sauce. Aren't those cool that we're inside? Then, let's see, this, Betty Crocker's Baking's Believing, Authentic Magic Recipes, Perform Feats of Oven Wizardry, Table Sorcery, Eating Enchantment. And it's got like little gnomes. Um, and this, Trying to find a year. They even used um, Mel Milborn Christopher, America's foremost magician, as a consultant on the book. So you've got Mr. Candy Dough, wand cookies. <laughs> it's cute, but I'm not seeing. The copyright date. There's a fortune Christmas cook cookie tree. Spells and bells. Isn't that cool? That was inside the book. So that is just awesome. Devil Decker dish. <laughs> Magic portion pie. Spooky cookies. And there's a blooming bush for Christmas. Just this just this little book was a treasure but this was only a dollar for this wonderful book um occupant no you didn't have to use a zip code back when this was mailed the new snowdrift 15 cents on new emulsorized snowdrift isn't that cool they never use their coup coupon there's some recipes in here. That is super cool. Let's see if the... Well, this has no expiration date, so I could probably use that now, should I be able to find a can of Snowdrift. Here's somebody's handwritten recipe Oh, this is one of my favorite. I can't believe this. The only Jello I ever really liked is lime Jello with cream cheese in it. This is a recipe with lime Jello, cream cheese, crushed pineapple, and black walnuts. Amazing! Ha! I have a recipe. You can see that this is well loved. It's got lots of staining and stuff on it. I love it. Here's some more pictures. 
a chocolate cream roll, a coffee chocolate cake. So cool. Here's another little old recipe in here. Looky there, November. This is November. Ha! I just think that's awesome. Yee Recipe of the month, oyster stuffing. I was just talking to my sister about oyster stuffing or oyster dressing. I don't like stuffing. I'm from the South. I like um, dressing, not stuffing. So, let's see. Here's a calendar. Look at this. 1954. That is awesome. Look at that. Now, you know, I'm doing this video. Somebody's going to come. It's my sister's house, and uh, somebody's coming to work on her roof. Here is a Louisiana Premium Certificate. It's a coupon. Worth two coupons. For Louisiana Coffee or Louisiana Tea. And here's a, huh? I think that used to be what phone numbers look like, guys. Y'all, y'all don't remember that. I remember when they weren't even that long. Actually, that's how old I am. Instant blending pie crust, fudge brownies, a Pillsbury thing, ice creams and ices, timetables for canning. That is a treasure right there. Wow. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> then I've never seen these. Um, these are Scrabble playing cards. Never, ever seen. It's called Scrabble Slam card game. So, I'm trying to open this because I, like I said, have not opened it yet. There we go. Just by the way it's packaged, it looks old. Look at that. It's like Scrabble pieces. How cool is that? You have the blank ones for the wild cards. Ah, I love these. I got two packs of these. Yay! Yay! My mother would say, got two of those. Never seen those before, so that is super awesome. Okay, I got all the kids' books were a dollar each. These were packaged together, so I got them both for a dollar. And it's the whole alphabet, my fun with words. This not cute for some little golden books which I've not made yet, but I am going to make one. So, when my kids were little, they had something similar to this. Look at here, just look at that, Nashville, Tennessee. That's where I'm from. Ha! Ah, this is so cool. Now this is from 2003, it was a reprint uh, 2010, but the first copyright was 1991. But, um, isn't that cool? I had this exact, this is awesome. I had this exact uh, dictionary set for my kids. They were born in 1980 and 1982. And they got to pick one story out every night to read. And they would want me to read this. And I finally started saying, you know, I'm not reading this whole book. Because you know how kids do. So I would say, we'll read, you know, five pages. Or, or whatever I decided. But this is the exact book. This is so cool. Brings back memories. I can use this either in journals or I may just save this for my great granddaughter, Miss Willow. That is fun. Then I got a boy named Charlie Brown. I've never seen a big book like this for Charlie Brown. And the copyright, I love, I used to love Charlie Brown, it's 1969. So it's got lots of Charlie Brown. It's full of Charlie Brown. 
and Snoopy. I used to be able, Snoopy was the only animal I learned to draw when I was a kid uh, and still can draw. It doesn't look identical to him, but I didn't have to have, have to look at it. Like I can draw cartoons if I look at them. I can draw them and make them look the same. Snoopy was the only one I didn't have to look at. I could just draw. Fun, trivial fact for you. Tell me a tale, the gingerbread man. It was originally 35 cents. These are similar, I think, to little golden books. And the copyright, I don't know my Roman numerals. I wanna say it might be 1953, but I don't know. But in any case, you could do like a little golden book journal. Isn't that adorable? I love the little gingerbread man. And I got finally some really cool little golden books because I never can find that many of the really different ones. And I found some. Raggedy Ann and Andy help Santa Claus. Is that not adorable? And I love Raggedy Ann and Andy. When I was a kid, I always wanted a Raggedy Ann doll and I never got one. This is 1977. Um, I don't know why my mother couldn't get me one, but I always wanted one. Um, and never got one. So, I still want one. I'm going to have to look for one. I've not seen any. You know, I'd like not a brand new one, but like an older one. So, anyway, that is super cool. Little Golden Book. Pristine condition. I Can Fly. Classic Little Golden Book. This is 1951. Renewed 1979. Isn't that cool? I've never seen this one. A bird can fly, so can I. A cow can moo, I can too. Isn't that cute? Y'all don't need me to read to you. This is not romper room in the story time. My own grandpa. I love that. And the copyright on this one is 1987. I've never seen the grandpa book. I got my first counting book. I have seen this before, but all of these are in pristine condition. They're just like 1956 was the first copyright. And this one, the last one looks like was 1985. But look, every page is in perfect condition. So, and the cover. So, cool. Baby farm animals. I think I have this one. This originally was 1953, renewed 1987. And again, everything is pristine. It, there's no marks, the pages, there's one turned page right there. It's the only thing I've seen. Isn't that cool? I love this. A Whitman Tiny Tot Tail, the most wonderful birthday present. Isn't that cute? And this um, was 1968. Isn't that adorable? Be like a mini journal. Yay. I wonder that was something. Yeah. Bible stories of boys and girls. I've never seen a little golden book like this. So I do have a few. Now somebody wrote in it. Mrs. Olivet wrote in this one. But other than that, it's perfect. Mrs. Olivet, why'd you do that? Copyright 1953. And it doesn't look like it's, this one was from 1953. There's not a subsequent date. Isn't that awesome? Look at the inside of that one. So cute. Another Whitman Tiny Tot Tail, the Hound Dog. Super adorable. <laughs> I mean, aren't they adorable? Love that bat cover. Okay, that's all the golden books and those. This is the Walt Disney Songbook. And um, 
you know, we like to use song. Look at the inside of this. If I could do like pages big enough, if I did a 12 by 12 sheet and sewed them in here, I could make me a big journal with this one. Like that. That would be awesome. Look at all these cool pages. I love this. Three little pigs. And it's just got all of the... Everybody has a laughing place. We sure do need that today. zippity doo da, zippity a. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. zippity doo da, zippity a. Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. I'm sorry, I digress. When I see an elephant fly, see, that would be good for a Dumbo. Little golden book. There's Pinocchio. Give a little whistle with Jiminy Cricket. And from um, The Seven Dwarfs, Someday My Prince Will Come. All the songs from those books and movies. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. And that we know should be Peter Pan. Mary Poppins. Isn't that cool? Alice in Wonderland, when I do that book, an unbirthday song. Ha! I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Sorry. Um, this just makes me think about being a kid again. I love that book. This, The Children's Wonderland of Stories. And it belonged at one time to Stephanie Jeter. No more, Stephanie. So this copyright, look at that black and white. That's where all the pictures are. This was first published in 1939, and this date for this book was 1986. And you've got Robin Hood, the Frog Prince, Lazy Molly. Look at all these stories. I used to love to read these stories, and look at these pictures in black and white. There's someone working on my sister's roof. Robin Hood, I mean, I just, this will be for me to read to my great-granddaughter. Hopefully she will love books. Rapunzel, like I did when I was little. I used to love Grimm's Fairy Tales. And I've been looking for that book, like the one I had when I was younger, or one of my aunts had. It's a really nice, big, thick book, Grimm's Fairy Tales. And when I'd go visit my aunt, she would read one to me, one story when we went to bed. Look at that. Isn't that cute? The Butterfly's Ball. Um, I just love this book. And so I've been on the lookout for that Grimm's Fairy Tale book, but I've not seen it to get. Anyway, this is a child craft dictionary. Sombrero Mouse Knit Balloon Windmill. I've got, let's see the copyright on. I think this is from the 80s. Yeah, first copyright date was uh, 1975, and this one was from 1982, which is the year my daughter was born. And look at all the fun images. It's got a few stories. Where, where some of the names came from. I might even learn something. Well, I probably would learn something reading these. And then you've got the dictionary with images. This is so cool. I just love books. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry. I could not hold that back. And last but not least on the books, the Merry, A Merry Christmas Cookbook. Obviously, this is newer because you got Toy Story. But I just thought it was a fun little book because um, it's part of a cookbook. And it's a Christmas cookbook. You got breakfast, lunch, dinner, sides and drinks, and dessert. Isn't that cute? I was trying to see what's the copyright date. I don't know. Breakfast muffins, and you get pictures from um, Beauty and the Beast, you know, the different stories. Cheerios, Monstros, Spiced Breakfast Bars. 
Elsa's Snowy Mac and Cheese. So this is pretty new from Frozen. Isn't that adorable? Tiana's Green Bean Casserole. Isn't that cute? Lady and the Tramp Zucchini Spaghetti and Meatballs. Desserts for Christmas. Look at that. And then you have these little cards. And I'm not sure what. Oh, Spotted Cranberry Pancakes and Hot Chocolate with Star Marshmallows. That you can punch it out. So that is a really cool book. So now, and I got some clothes for myself and my granddaughter, great granddaughter, but I, I'm not showing you those. These were really cool. And I can use these for junk journal covers. They're just placemats, but look at the fabric. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So I've got four of those. Yay! This was on their clearance rack for summer stuff, and I would I'm not wearing it. It's a, it was a dollar ninety nine. It's a skirt from Kato's, but it's obviously too big for me. But I like really really big when it comes to getting lace. Isn't that lace gorgeous? So for two bucks, I got all that lace, and it's all the way around. And then the bottom is scalloped. And I got this. And it says Longa Burger Liner Peppermint and Holly. So this is nice just because it was from Longa Burger Baskets. Um, I purchased many of a Longa Burger Basket back in the 80s. But is that not cute? For Christmas, you could sit a little bowl in there or a basket, but of course I could cut it up. It almost looks like a little doll hat. Ah. Beautiful. Um, this obviously was a napkin, I guess, but it looks so vintage to me. And for Christmas, yes, yes, yes. Um, these put this I thought was a placemat, but apparently it's a table, little tablecloth, and it's reversible. You got the holly and berries on one side and the stripe on the other. Isn't that neat? So that's for Christmas journals. Longer burger. This, one dollar. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but it feels like chintz sort of fabric. But I thought this, I guess it's a tablecloth of some sort for a small table, maybe? Oh my, sorry. Look at the patterns on here. It's a horse and carriage. Tropical book, some flowers, music notes with a drum. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a horse and carriage again. So it just repeats. So I love that. That'll be beautiful for a journal cover as well. Sorry, I dropped you guys. You're on top of my Yeti cup. Hopefully you're still going. Yes, sorry. <laughs> and now I see that I've gone 30 minutes. So I'm gonna speed up. I got this um, tablecloth. It looks like Battenberg, Battenberg lace uh, on the edging. And it's a big, tablecloth table cover they called it but isn't that cool just the trim and the the lace I mean the table cover so that's that oh this is a bag of linens for two dollars 
Um, a lot of it's napkins. Some of it I may or may not want to use, but it's all very cool. Aren't those pretty? The scallop trim. I haven't looked at any of this yet. I think those are just plain old white napkins. Some more of that scalloped stuff. I was hoping I got some jewels in here. This is pretty. I think this is probably, maybe that's vintage. Another one of those. Some cream color with a, look at that, around the edge. Isn't that pretty? Got a couple of those. Some more, actually I got more than two of those. See the edging? And here's one with a middle and on the edge. That's like a table runner. That neat. I think that's vintage. If it's not, I'll just pretend it is. Here's another little table runner or napkin. Beautiful, I love those. Another one of those you already saw. Uh, a lot of these, which I'm happy. These are beautiful. They feel, you know, like linen. Linens, linen linens, which I'm sure that's where the name came from. These are gorgeous. More of those, I've got a lot of those, that's awesome. And then, some of that with the scalloped edge that I've already shown you. It's plain. It's almost are like hankies. Uh, looks like all of these are kind of plain like the same. But still, $2 for all this. It'd be good for liners and journals. Um, hankies. Yay! Not a big surprise in that batch, but still a lot of good stuff. And I got, this is a um, table cover. And I'm almost done, I promise. I only have one more thing. This goes with some of those. Nap, ooh, look at that. What a wonderful surprise. You see it? That gorgeous. And it's got initials, R-H. Well, I don't know who R-H is. If any of you have those initials, let me know and I can cut that section out and send it to you. Or I can save it for if I do a journal for someone with the initials R-H. This is a huge tablecloth. So this needlework goes all the way around. Just beautiful. That was a nice surprise. Last but not least, I have this. And I thought this was, it looks handmade to me. Uh, it's crocheted granny squares. Back in the day, that's what we called it. I bet that was a little baby blanket. It was in the children's section. Isn't that pretty? I can't imagine somebody getting rid of a handmade baby blanket. But I love it, and I'm thinking this would be, if I decide to cut it up, a really cute journal cover. If I could figure out how to do it, but I love it. So anyway, that's my thrifty haul on Friday. So it doesn't match, like thrifty Thursday, Sherry Brown does. Um, so today, for me, it was Friday I can't think of anything, but I love it. I was blessed and I got so many wonderful things. So I was very excited. I wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you have a blessed day. Make it a good day. Know I love you and uh, he loves you too. Bye-bye.